Welcome. In this video, we're going to continue to evaluate limits using the limit loss. So here we need to evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus x minus 6 divided by the absolute value of x minus 2. So before we begin, let's rewrite this a little bit. That is f of x equals x squared plus x minus 6 over the absolute value of x minus 2 can be rewritten first of all is x minus 2 times x plus 3 divided by the absolute value of x minus 2. Now I can rewrite this as a piecewise function and so let's start off with the case that x is greater than positive 2. When x is greater than positive 2 we have x minus 2 times x plus 3 divided by x minus 2. And I'm going to shift everything before I run out of space. There we are. So this is just equal to x plus 3. Now when x is less than 2, this can be rewritten as x minus 2 times x plus 3 divided by negative x minus 2 or just negative x plus 3. So it looks like we're going to have to evaluate this limit from the left hand side and from the right hand side. So let's begin with the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. And so that would be this case right here. And really quickly to illustrate that, here's 2. Here x is less than 2 on this side x is greater than 2 on this side. So if we're approaching 2 from the left hand side, that is from the negative side, this is x approaches 2 from the left, you're coming from more negative numbers. And then I'll make sure to color code all of these. If we're approaching x from the right, we're coming from values that, of 2 that are larger, so x values that are larger than 2. All right. So when we approach 2 from the left, the limit of x squared plus x minus 6, this becomes the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of negative x plus 3. Even though we have a negative sign here, the direct substitution property still applies since that didn't change really the domain at all of x plus 3 like we had it. The domain still includes 2, so I can directly substitute this 2 in here and end up with negative 2 plus 3 or negative 5. Okay, so now let's look at the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So we're coming again from values of x that are larger than 2. This equals the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x plus 3. 2 is in the domain of this function, so we can just apply the direct substitution property. And if you recall, the direct substitution property tells us we can take this value and directly substitute it in for our x. So this just becomes 2 plus 3, which is 5. Since the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of x squared plus x minus 6 divided by the absolute value of x minus 2 does not equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of x squared plus x minus 6 divided by the absolute value of x minus 2. It follows that this entire limit as x approaches 2 of this function does not exist. I hope this video was helpful.